Yeah. Here is another question from alkanes and alkenes. Initially, ethane it is treated with the chlorine in presence of sunlight. As a result, you will get a chloroethane. Chloroethane ethyl chloride. Next, it is treated with the Gilman reagent, Corehaus alkane synthesis. In this alkyl group from ethyl chloride, alkyl group from Gilman reagent, coupling will take place. As a result, you will get a propane. Propane. Next, it is treated with a bromine in presence of sunlight. You have a primary hydrogens and secondary hydrogens. Secondary hydrogens are very much reactive when compared to primary hydrogen. As a result, you will get a isopropyl bromide, 2 bromopropane. Then it is treated with alcoholic KOH. It causes dehydrohalogenation, elimination reaction. Hence, it will give you propene. Propene. Then it is treated with HBr uh, in absence of sunlight. In another path, it is treated with HBr in presence of sunlight. As a result, so here one is electrophilic addition reaction. Another one is a free radical addition reaction. Here it is electrophilic addition reaction. It proceeds through carbocation intermediate. The reaction product is according to Markovnikov's rule. As a result, the product will be 2 bromopropane. 2 bromopropane that is a, uh, isopropyl bromide. In the next path, that is in presence of sunlight, it undergoes a free radical addition. As a result, uh, the product is a uh, one bromopropane. Here it uh, follows free radical addition, proceeds through uh, free radical intermediate, and the product here is a two bromopropane. The product here is a one bromopropane. The relation between these two, they are uh, positional isomers. So mechanism 